Hello friends and welcome to my channel IB All Designing Developer. So like you all know that previously we have started a new tutorial series of C++ in which we have covered up different things and previously on we were working on operators and we have learned about different operators like what are arithmetic operators, what are assignment operators, then we have also learned about comparison operator in the previous video but now in this video I will be telling you that what are logical operators and we will be learning that what are logical operators in C++, how you can use logical operators, what are the element or tag which we have to add when we are using logical operators in C++ because if you are using operators so there is different way to use operators in every language like if I am using in Python so I will be adding different elements to use operators in Python if I am using in C++ so I have to add different elements in C++ to use logical operators which is the simple thing and I hope you will be enjoying this video in which we will be learning different things about logical operators so if you understand this tutorial video and if you understand this amazing video of logical operators so remember to hit a like to this video and if you're new on this channel want to see more videos like that so remember to subscribe and after subscribing hit notification bell so you can get the notifications of all my coming up videos which I'll be uploading in this channel in future and also just share this video so more people can learn that how they can work with operators and what are the things which we have to start if we are beginner and we are starting with C++ like language like any programming language so now what we are waiting for let's move to computer screen and let's get started with this amazing logical operator tutorial video from start so now here we are in the computer screen and like i've told you that in a start we are today working with logical operators so now we have to first understand that what are logical operators and how we can use it if we talk about logical operators so as with comparison operators you can also test for true one or false zero values with logical operators logical operators are used to determine the logic between variables or values if we see some summary about logical operators so basically as we work with comparison operators you can use the boolean values like true one or false zero values so you can also use these values with logical operators and logical operators are basically used to determine the logic means if you want to determine any logic between variables and values so you have to use logical operators there and if we talk about that which type of logical operators are when we are using it so these are the logical operators first name is logical and and the description of this operator is that returns true if both statements are true logical or returns true if one of the statement is true logical not reverse the dis result returns false if the result is true means it is saying that if the result is true it will be returns false if the result is true it will be returning the value false means it will be reversing the result simply that and first of all we will be working with these logical operators and the first logical operator which we will be using is this logical and operator which will be returning true value if both statements are true but if both statements are wrong it will be returning the value false so the thing is that if we move down so it says you will learn much more about true and false values in a later chapter because we are just working with some of the basic operators and that is why i'll be not telling you more detail about this true and false values in moving on we will be learning more about this true and false values that what are these values and why we use these boolean values what are the function of these boolean values everything about it but right now we are working with operators so we have to first of all understand that what are these logical operators and why we have to use it so now first of all we will be working with this logical and operator so what i'm going to do is i'll be just simply moving on to my repellent here and after moving to this repellent i'll be changing my title here and i'll be giving here as logical operators what we are learning in this video after doing it i'll be just simply writing here in c plus plus and i'll be just pressing here enter and you can just see we have changed the title of this REPL to logical operators in C++ and our REPL is just having a work here so we can just done with all the things you can just see we are getting all the things working and now I'll be just pasting all these things and after pasting this just I'll be now moving down and I'll be just returning the value as zero so these are the comparison operators which we have used in previous video so what I'm going to do is I'll be simply not changing anything here I'll be just uh doing one thing like i will be just getting the same values like i have written first is the variable value in which we have written five then in second value we have written three so now what i'm going to do is i'll be now using the count function here and in this count i'll be again using parenthesis in which i'll be writing x then i'll be using this n n and y which means that you're returning two values now we have to check what output we are getting if i press run here after pressing run you are now getting the value 1 because it is true if we talk about x in x we have written the value 5 if we talk about 
3 we have written the value 3 but now if I do one thing like if I move to my word document and if I check it it says its description says that returns true if both statements are true means the both statements are true so it will be returning true. if I write 0 in the place of 3 and if I run again so it will be returning me true again and you can just see it is returning me 0 why it is returning me 0 because I have not written any integer value I have written a value which is 0 and 0 indicates and 0 indicates nothing and that is why it is giving me a value 0 which means false now like this you can use if I talk about what are logical or so it will be returning the true if one of the statement is true like if I write like this and if I want to return any value so I will be just pressing this run and after pressing run you can just see we are getting one because one value is true means five is true and that is why it will be returning me one because if one value is true it will be returning me one but if both values are true so we have to check it is returning me true again or not run you can just see it is again giving me the result which is true means that it can work with one value as well means if your one value is true it can also use that and if your two values are true it will be also using that but if we talk about the operators which will be returning the value true it will be not using only one value they need two values should be true then it will be returning the value as true but if the one value is wrong so it will be returning the value zero means now in the output you will be getting the value output as false and false equal to zero so that is why you will be getting the output as zero if i run you can just see now the output we are getting is zero means it is working so i hope you understand that how we are using this operator of this and 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 how we are using this logical op or operator which we have used now the last operator which we have to use in this logical operator is logical not operator which reverses the result returns false if the result is true and if the result is true and if the result is false it will be returns the value as true so logical not operator how you can use it simply you have to just do like this if i move here and if i write like this this exclamation mark is the true means this is the operator which you can use if i move on to my code so you can just see like this you can use this logical not operator if i run it here so you can just see we are getting an error but if i write here question mark like this to use it again you will be getting an error because obviously we cannot use these question marks here like this you can just see so like this you can just only use this slash here and if you use one slash so you will be getting the output here as five you can just see now we are getting the output as five and why we are getting the output as five because in the x value we have written the value five but if I see that if I don't want to write this value so you can just use another value as well if I write these two values here so you will be getting a different output now the output will be as one if I run here so you can just see the output has been one because now we have written these two slashes which is a operator of logical or and if we use logical and operator which is two and like this so you will be getting the value as zero because in the second value we have not written anything and zero indicates nothing and that is why when you will be printing it so you will be getting the output zero if we talk about the last operator which is logical not operator so it reverses the result but we cannot use it because in rebel it this operator cannot be used you can use it in normal text editor like uh, vs code atom means offline text editor you can use in that but if we talk about repel it there we cannot use and the logical not operator has also been not used too much because these are the two operators which we use many times when we are working with c plus plus or any programming language here and these all also contains these two boolean values which is true and false if the value is true it will be giving the output as one and if the value is false it will be giving you the output as zero which we are getting in the output of this repel it you can just see if it the if this value is false we are getting the value zero but if i just write the value as six so you will be now getting the true value and the true is one means two equal to one so you will be getting the output one if i run here so you can just see now the output which we are getting is here is one so i hope you understand that how we are just working with it and i hope you enjoy this video in which we have covered up that what are logical operators how you can use logical operators and basically how many types of logical operators are there when you're using it in C++. So if you enjoy this video and if you understand that what are logical operators, how we can cover up them and how many types of logical operators are there. So remember to hit a like to this video and if you're new on this channel, want to see more videos like that. So remember to subscribe and after subscribing hit notification bell so you can get the notifications of all my coming up videos which I'll be uploading on this channel. And remember to share this video as well so more people can learn about these amazing things which we are covering up through C++ and also 
comment me and suggest me that what tutorials do you want from me in future or what projects do you want in this tutorial series which we are working with of C++ and what tutorial videos do you want so I can make that videos which gives motivation to me and it will be giving learning skills to you so just see these all videos take your time uh, keep focus on these all works so you can just work with these all things and you can create your own games own projects own applications using these all programming languages like we have covered up the tutorials of many languages like javascript react html css now we are covering up of c++ as well and we have also covered up a previous tutorial of c++ you can check that out as well but in this tutorial we are just covering up all the language with details which will be understandable for you so just hit a like subscribe share and all the things you want to do you can do that so just i'll be meeting you in next tutorial video of c++ or next project of c++ for today good bye